Hey guys, Sifa Greg here with the Authentic Shell and Kung Fu School. So today we're going over grappling blocks, locks and chin -ah. Let's see if it works. Hey guys, what's going on? Sifa Greg here with the Authentic Shell and Kung Fu School. So today we're gonna to be going over another Mythbusters, which is gonna be grappling. So we have what's called a fan grapple, which is really an eagle claws grab. So we're gonna be going over that fan grapple, but we're also gonna be going over chinna and how it can apply. How can we utilize it? How can we bridge the gap? Is it something that we can bridge? Is it something that's useful? Is it something that's just trained? I think it's all very useful. It's just a matter of being able to apply it, how we apply it, and when we apply it, right? It's all about pressure testing, it's all about time. If you have gloves on, you're not gonna be able to utilize any of that chinna, but you are gonna be able to utilize underhooks, you're gonna be able to utilize overhooks, and that is all a form of chinna, is all these, chinna is just seizing and locking, right? So we're looking to lock uh, short joint locks, and, and long joint locks. We're looking to utilize everything in our in our toolbox in order to be as efficient as possible, all right? So. If we were in a scenario and we're working in an MMA gym or we're working um, in Sanda or anything like that, to be able to reach out and grab your opponent and grab his hands to try to apply is not the uh, is not the proper time to be utilizing any kind of chin knot techniques, okay? So if we're here and we're working and say we get into, say we, he, go, he does a, uh, a straight reverse and here and we come in for the clinch and I come in here and I grab right away, okay? At this point of the game here, my hand's tied up. But if I slip here and I go into this position, so now I can utilize this lock. So I can utilize the lock, take the leg out from here and bring my opponent to the ground. So we'll utilize that, we'll utilize a quick underhook as a lock, and that is a form of chin -up. So again, we come in here, and right here I wanna press down, and then I'm gonna lock in, right? So I'm pressing here, and I'm trying to figure out how to get into my opponent, right? So from this position here, I'm gonna come over. So here we got our underhook over, and I'm gonna slip my other arm out, and I'm gonna pull. So at this point in the game here, I can either take that leg out here, or turn my body, and take the leg out using my uh, using my, my hook on my leg. And again, which is another underhook, or what, are you okay? Or what we call rooster, okay? So again, he comes in here, and we come in for the clinch, and I'm gonna switch. And the minute I switch, I'm gonna come in here. Now, if you notice, I've changed my body posture into a forward stance position. This is a, a semi-forward stance position right here. If my opponent goes to take that leg, I'm gonna switch my stance. So again, we have to be mindful. And stuff happens really quick. I'm not saying that he won't be able to, but I'm in this position and right away I wanna pull and I wanna switch. At this point, I take the leg out here and drop down and lock up. So I'm, I'm snuffing my opponent out. So I'm putting a lot of pressure here. And as I'm, as I'm twisting, I'm putting more pressure on the back of his neck and forcing his face into the mat, which out in the street would be cement. So if I did this, <laughs> It'd be pretty bad. <laughs> so, anything that we utilize, anything that we're utilizing and we're training, it should be able to, it should be able to relate anywhere that you're doing it. If it's not, then it's something that needs to be adjusted or thought about, right? So again, it's gonna be here and we come in and I pull right away, I naturally even do that. So as I come in here and pull, I step back to not give him that. He has to reach over for that, and at that point of the game, that's when I turn. Okay, so let's do this one more time a little quicker. So, a little quicker again, so it's, if you notice, he wants in, and that's what I want. I want him to hit and wanna come in. So from here, he's committing, and that's when I lock and I push, and that's when I turn and drop right in. And if you wanna get nasty at this point, you just go here, you stop here, and now you pull this way. So now I've got him here, I'm smothering him. My wife cleans my, my uniform, so they smell all right. He's not dying too bad. And I got this elbow lock in here. If you want to get even worse, you come in this way and you lift here. So now you're putting a lot of strain on the shoulder. You okay? As you go. So again, we'll do it from this side. From here, we lock up, 
pull back, switch, bring them down to the floor, lock it up. So, say we get into a clinch here, and from this position, I go here, he pulls the arm out, and goes in to grab and apply. So the minute he's here, and he pulls the arm out, I'm gonna stick my arm in here, and that's when I apply that lock, and then come in. So it's gotta be, it's not gonna happen all the time. So if we're here in a clinch again, I'm pressing, 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 and out and he goes to come in, that's when I'm gonna rush right in, because right here, I can stick it in. He's got his arm grabbed on here. I'm gonna stick it in here, put my head up against the pressure on his head, and then lock up, and then bring him in. So it's all about, it's all about timing. Everything is about timing. Punching, kicking, um, sweeping, you have to find the time to use it. You can't just reach out and hope it's gonna happen. You can't just reach out and hope that leg kick's gonna work. You have to set everything up. So again, from here, he's clinching in here. I go to grab here, and the minute he steps back and pulls that arm, that's gonna come right in, try to find that arm lock, come in and hold, and lock it in. So again, we're starting with that here. We come in, we lock up, he's gonna pull back. I miss the lock, I come in to try to find the hand, then I apply the lock, and I come in. Goosenecks are great. Goosenecks are great. So again, it's, it's all about finding the proper time. This is from a clinch where I went here and he pulled the hand out and tried to grab and put me in something. So at this point of the game, I'm not grabbing a finger because it's not gonna happen. But that hand right there, all I gotta do is put pressure and push down. So I'm not putting, I'm not grabbing here, I'm putting pressure on the joint. So I'm dropping my hand on the joint and dropping my head right into the ear. So let's understand the, the, the fan grapple, right? That eagle claw thing that we were talking about. So again, lead reverse. So we're always working, we're always working the joys of understanding our opponent's not gonna just throw one technique. From here, I'm already coming up with my other hand. So one, two here, and right there I'm grabbing. That's my fan grapple. As ugly as that looks, here, that's my fan grapple. Now if I decide to come in this way and pull, now this is an eagle claw grab. So I'm grabbing up top and I'm grabbing on the bottom. And this is a traditional eagle claw grab. So from here I pull and kick. So I wanna bring my opponent to the floor quickly. I grabbed here and pulled and I'm hitting the shin. And then at that point, I'm utilizing my shoulder and my forearm to apply that elbow lock. So as we go here, palm, palm, I slide in here. So I'm sliding in and pulling my opponent in tight. So it's here, and it comes in fast, and then I'm grabbing and striking. So again, we'll do this slow. So from here, I come in, I give a little, a little joint, and then from here I grab and apply to the lower part of the shin, and then using my forearm to bring my, my opponent down. So again, it's here, here I grab, pull, hit, and then utilize my, my, my uh, this is actually would be a inside lower hammer block but I'm using my shoulder to bring my opponent to the floor. All right? So if we do it this way, you guys can see where the block comes into effect, but it's, it's here. So one, two, that's where it is. So slowing it down, I slide in here and grab, and I apply. So if that other hand wants to come out to throw, I push here. So I push and grab, then I pull. Now, if I'm in this position, I can pull and utilize that or utilize this. So it's just a matter of being able to accommodate my opponent, my partner, right? You okay? Okay, so again, here, that's the grab. Now I lock up here and I can kick the shin. So that's it. That's that beautiful grab. Here and here, if you wanna get worse, you grab up here and then utilize that. But if I'm here and I want distance, now I use my shoulder to guide my opponent. So locks are very, very important. So we can utilize locks as long as the timing is right. And you're not gonna find timing all the time to do it. But if you find the time and you're in that position, you can utilize that wrist lock. It's very, very important. And usually in the clinch is where you can start really applying those techniques because you don't have to reach out and grab them. 
So I'm hoping this helped, guys. So we're utilizing uh, the, the clinches, the locks. We're even utilizing an underhook and, 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 and really supporting. And that's chinna, that's seizing and locking. So again, our, our, our techniques, um, everything that we're doing is more similar than it is different. It's all about pressure testing. It's all about moving. It's all about sharing. And it's all about understanding that the martial arts in general can be a great place to learn. We all just have to kind of pull together and realize that all the systems are more similar than they are different. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, share, like, um, subscribe, follow along, guys. This is a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, your, your comments, all these comments that we're getting, guys, there's such a good flow of, of moving back and forth and sharing what we have with each other. I really, I, I appreciate all the support, all the watching and everything that you guys are doing. So thanks again. And uh, remember guys, look for the martial arts that's out there. Look for the good martial arts, because there's a lot of crap, but there's a lot of good stuff out there too, guys. Don't just assume just because they're doing a certain style, it's bad. So look for the good martial arts out there. You'll know when you see it. We'll see you soon.